this is a friend of mine story. I just got off the phone with him, and he asked if I can post because he does not want to use his account so please pardon me if I get any of this wrong. I should start off by saying that my friend is a semi-famous DJ in his area and has hired a few people to help out. The daughter in question is one of the few people he trusts to help him set up his sound system and speakers along with various other tasks. So my friend decided to go grocery shopping before a big party a couple of nights ago. He was at a place where there is a uniform that he was most definitely not wearing when the mother shows up and starts talking to him. Mom, hey could you help me find? Friend, what lady? Mom, you should pay more attention to your customers. Now as I was saying, now noticing who is beside mom and realizing she thinks he works there he decided to have some fun. It will be entertaining to tell at the party right? Friend, I'm so sorry ma'am please continue. The daughter then notices who her mother is talking to and tries to interject. Daughter, mom he's my. Mom, be quiet adults are talking. As I was saying my daughter is starting to have her period and I need some feminine supplies for her. Also where are the condoms, because she works for this DJ and I know what goes on at those parties. Friend, dead silent for a few seconds. Ma'am what makes you think I work here? Daughter, I was trying to tell you he is my boss. The mother then notices that he is in fact her boss and walks off. This happened a long time ago, and my dad likes to bring it up as a teaching tool on why you should always be polite, no matter how the other person is dressed. Anyways, my dad, also CEO of construction company, D, or dad, idiot contractor, Ike, I think he'll christened him Chad, receptionist, R, Kim, regular office worker, W, or Walt, and Emmy equals maligned spawn. Setting, my dad's company's reception area. Little background, I had an internship that was near my dad's office but growing up, I never stopped by my dad's office, ever, so his colleagues knows that he has kids, but doesn't know how I look like. So here goes. My internship ended way earlier than expected, and I called my dad and see if he would like to grab lunch with me before I head home. He said yes, but let me know that has in a meeting and might take a while. I was fine, said he'll wait in the lobby till has done. Cue me stepping into the reception area and telling the receptionist that I'm here waiting on someone. Receptionist, okay, do you want me to call whoever you're waiting on so they know you're here? Me, no thank you, he already knows I'm waiting. So I settle down on one of the nice couches and pull out a folder from my internship and read. I then spy the nice coffee maker and decided to make myself some coffee. Then in comes chat, basically storming into the place like he owns it. Chat, Kim, hey I'm here, call Walt and let him know. I need to go over some stuff with him before presentation. I was polite and got on the phone quickly to call Walt I presume, and you. Make me a coffee. I take it black. Since I was a dumbass and again I DWH I didn't realize he was speaking to me. Chat, you, miss. I look up, yes you. Make me a cup of coffee, black. Me, up, no thank you. I'm just waiting on someone. I have no idea why he thinks I work there as I'm dressed while way too casually to be working there at all. All the ladies wear business suits and I'm there in jeans and a casual top. Chat, what do you mean no? Do you know who I am? I have a contract with this company. I will tell your boss you were rude and you won't have a job at all. The poor receptionist looked horrified and tried to defuse the situation. Kim, Chad I just called Walt and has on his way down. Why don't you take a seat? Chad, I don't believe this. Is she, gesture at me, here for an interview? She's not going to get the job now. That's the problem with people just starting out. No respect. Rant 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 and some slurs here and there. I just ignored him and sat back down sipping my coffee. Just then Walt shows up. Hearing the tirade, Walt, what's going on? Chat, this girl, gestures to me sipping coffee again, is rude and disrespectful. I told her to make me a coffee and she refuses. Kim, Walt, she said. Walt, waves Kim off, it'll take care of this, don't worry about it. Now miss, looks at me, while I stare at him with my eyebrows raised slightly. I probably looked like a beach cause I was getting annoyed as hell. Chad here is a very important person at this company. Are you here for an interview? 
go get him the coffee and he'll talk to ours about this okay. Me, I don't work here, nor do I want to. I'm waiting for someone. Walt, at Kim, Hoss's waiting for. Chat, before Kim could answer, probably her boyfriend. Laughs. Probably one of the new guys. Poor dude. Laughs harder. Walt, now miss, you're making things difficult for your friend. He said it in a condescending tone. When you are rude to his bosses at work, your boyfriend could be fired for this. At this point, my eyebrows just rose higher and higher. Thankfully my dad walked into the lobby with a colleague of his that I've known since I was a kid, Uncle M. Kim, boss, loudly, going to lunch now? Dad, yes, sees me getting berated by two guys. What happened? Walt, nothing boss, just some new guys gf hoss rude to Chad. It'll talk to him and get it sorted, and Chad and I will have the presentation ready after lunch. Dad, confused face, boyfriend, me, daddy, he, referring to Chad, got angry when I said him not making him coffee because I don't work here. He kept going on and on and Walt here thinks him some bad is gf and said has going to get him fired because I don't want to make coffee. Yeah, I know. I do the whole dad is spoiled girl thing when I'm mad and frankly I'm really pissed at those idiots condescending attitude. Both Chad and Walt's faces went ghost white when they realize I'm waiting for their CEO who happens to be my dad. Uncle M to Kim, is that true? I heard some shouting. Kim nods her head. Uncle M, me, are you here for lunch with your dad? I nod my head, okay why don't you both go and I'll take care of this. Walt, chat, my office now. My dad and I left, and I had to spend the whole lunch explaining what had happened. My dad didn't say much, but I can tell he's not happy. He told me not to worry, and he'll get to the bottom of it. His way of saying he'll light a fire under both Chad and Walt's asses. Later that night, when my dad got home my mom got the whole story and told me. While my dad and I was out at lunch, Uncle M got the whole story from the receptionist and Chad's contract was promptly cancelled due to unprofessional behavior and Walt was basically in the dog house with his immediate supervisor who reports to my dad and Uncle M from what I understand. He quit the company about 6 months later and had to go into a different field. Sorry for the long post, but basically two idiots decided to be rude to some girl they thought was dating one of the new guys at the office, except that she turns out to be their CEO's kid. So this happened today. On my lunch hour me and my colleague decided to nip to a well-known Swedish furniture shop. So to set the scene, I'm wearing a black suit, black top and red lanyard. The employees at this store all wear yellow and blue, even the management. So I'm making my list with my paper and provided pencil while walking around. Suddenly an older lady stepped straight across me stopping me in my tracks. Excuse me where are Swedish name bunk beds? Well been helpful I just said. Have you checked the computers? She wasn't happy with that and demanded I show her. I would have thought the giveaway would have been my colleague absolutely laughing her head off next to me. Anyway I was in a rush as I only had one hour to get everything done, so eventually I had to say the dreaded words, I don't work here. Well why the hell are you wearing a lanyard in public then, if you don't work here, you should be ashamed of yourself. At this point I just walked off laughing, this made her even more cross. So this is one for the books. I was contracted out by the airport for this job, that is done by one, if not multiple contractors. So the deal is I do not work for the airport. My main task is to get concrete trucks into the work zone. Which is funny enough beside, if not on the property of the airport. Traffic does go through there, but I don't manage them. I was helping trucks delivering 6000 pounds of concrete. That's it. There is a parking lot on the airport property as well as a, Skytrain, Metro line. I do not work for either company, yet it amazes me how many people think I work for the airport. Part 1. After seeing a truck pulling up to the entrance of my site I see a Karen pull up in a BMW to the left side of the entrance, now I'm in the middle of the lane, I don't answer questions that I don't know, so I just say I don't know and move on she comes up and asks, excuse me, but could you, she yells the last part cause the truck is pulling in now and it's loud, I can't hear her. Could you tell me how to get to the arrivals bay? I'm picking somebody up. There is a sign directly overhead that says this stuff. 
and where to go. Me, sorry lady, I'm not directing traffic today. Huh, yes you are. Don't lie to me. Me annoyed. Lady, my main focus is the trucks, not you. If you can't read the signs above your head then I can't help you. And went back to work. She screamed for about another second before hearing a honking behind her to move. She sped off after that. Part 2. After seeing a Porsche sub with a blown tire and an idiot driving it, I was again getting another truck in when another family drove up asking another stupid question. Them, excuse me, but do you know where the car return place is? To drop off my car? Me, looking up then down into the car. If you can't read the sign I can't help you. Them, fine, thanks for the help. And sped off. I'm sure if they told the gate manager they would have no clue who I was, because I don't work for the airport anyhow. Peas I have been awake since 1.30am and really right now all I want is sleep, and I thought this story should come first. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Slap that like button and comment your opinion on these stories below. I'm waiting. Write that comment. Seriously. Have you written it yet? If you don't comment, you make a bunny cry somewhere. You're not that kind of person. I know. Anyways, peace out, and catch you tomorrow.